Hello my wonderful friends, once again I welcome you to Married with Artias channel. This is your ultimate channel. If you are married and you want to, I, I mean, find joy and blissfulness in your marriage, this is the place to be. And I welcome you once again to today's edition. What am I discussing today? Something very simple really, but it happens in so many homes. If your husband continually refuses or rejects to take your food, or to take your meal, what should you do as a wife? If your husband continually rejects meals that, I mean, you have gone to great lengths in preparing this meal, you are waiting for him to come home, and finally he gets home, and you are full of joy, you bring this meal, you set it on the table, and he looks at it and he walks away. And he has been doing that consistently over the past couple of days or months. What should you do as a woman? That is what we want to talk about on the channel today. I know it appears very simple to us. I, I know of a woman who told me, wow, if I set food uh, on the table and my husband says he doesn't want to eat of it, I will eat as much as I want and clear the table. He's the one, as long as he's bringing food, bringing money for the food, I, I don't care. If he doesn't want it, that's his own business. I'll continue eating my food. I also know of a family where it has been a tug of war because both couples are always at daggers drawn. The woman feels that the husband is eating outside, is, you know, getting himself settled outside and he comes home and he doesn't want to eat the food that is prepared at home. So many things are happening really when it comes to that matter. That is why I want us to deal with it today. What will you do as a woman if your husband consistently and continually rejects the food that you went to great lengths in preparing? What should you do as a woman? If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do so right away. There's a red button by my side. Click on it and get subscribed and be part of this awesome family. This is Marriage Without Tears. This is the place to be if you want improvement, very wonderful improvements in your marriage. This is the place to be. So click on this red button and get subscribed. And one more thing, please recommend this channel to some of your friends and all your good wheelers, all the wonderful friends outside out there. Just recommend this channel to them. It will make a lot of difference in their marital lives. I can tell you that. So what do we do as a woman? The first thing you need to do is to engage him in very quality conversation, open communication. Find time to initiate quality conversation with him. Let him, I mean, draw him out. Let it not be a time for you to pass judgment. Let it not be a time for you to begin to criticize him or to begin to use acerbic words on him. No, this is a time to calmly and quietly engage him in conversation. Darling, what is going on here? What is happening? I go through great lens and all that to make this meal available and I look forward to seeing you all the time and then you get home here and you cannot even pick a piece of meat. What exactly is going on? This is not how the way we started. This is not what I done. You know, you, you engage him in quality conversation, draw him out, let him be able to tell you what exactly is the challenge here. Is it because the meals are poorly prepared? Is it because he finds, I mean, he is now uh, fasting during the dinner time? What exactly is the problem? Is he having an ulcer? Is it what well, you must find out what the problem is? Don't be, you know, presumptuous. Don't begin to uh, think things and begin to put things where there is not. No, draw him out in an open quality conversation and get him to understand that it is actually tasking you. It is giving you a whole lot of stress to do these things and at the end of the day not achieve the desired result. You want answers from him. It's very, very important for you to do that. Secondly, I want you to listen to his feedback quietly and attentively. Pay him undivided attention. There must be a reason for what, he's, what is happening here or what he is doing. There must be a reason. Sometimes it can be immediate, at other times it can be remote causes. 
things that you did not deal with. It could be a conflict that is brewing internally in him. It could be certain areas of disappointment or discouragement or lack of support you have given unto him in the past. It could be one thing or the other that is making him downcast. He doesn't feel like sharing the meal with you. There must be something, there must be an underlying reason why it is happening. I want you to pay ultimate attention to him. Listen to him. Listen to him. Don't begin to interrupt him in the midst of conversation. Don't begin to cut him short. Don't begin to, you know, try to be defensive. No, at this point in time, as a woman, quietly listen to his comments. It is very important. Based on his comments, you begin to understand what to do in the number three. Number three, the feedback you receive know how to apply it if it is the fact that the meals are poorly prepared and you actually don't know how to prepare the meal you may need to go and learn how to prepare quality meals there are so many catering institutes out there where you can learn these things or you can get somebody who knows how to prepare such meals to teach you at home these are things you can do quietly in order to learn how to prepare quality meals you may also need to ask him what his favorite meals are so that you go and learn how to prepare them once you prepare a man's favorite meal and he takes I, I, takes a sip of it and and if he finds it pleasurable you can be sure that that man will be coming home regularly to partake of such meals very very important what you do with the feedback you receive from him if it is because of a conflict that is brewing possibly you are not aware that this thing is even happening possibly you are not even aware there is need for you to open up to him and begin to discuss the main you know the remote causes of this conflict and find answers you know find you know whatever you can do to nip that conflict in the board so that it does not affect the rest of your relationship the, the, you know, the, the rest departments of your relationship because if you continue holding on to it on resolve you can be sure that it will move from the dining table to the bedroom and so on and so forth until the rest of the relationship is impacted these are things you must guide against what you do with what you receive as feedback is very very important in this matter if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please do so immediately there's a red button by my side click on it and get subscribed even as i go into the fourth thing you must do the fourth thing you must do actually is to always you know call him if he's at work darling what do we prepare what do you want us to eat tonight what can we you know can you suggest what what should i prepare for you or possibly his you know, engage in somewhere else, but you are accepting him at the dinner table. Don't always take him by surprise, especially if your surprise is such a meal that he's not always conversant with. You may find out that he will, you know, behave negatively at the dinner table. He may just pick one, we taste it, and walk away. But if you form the habit of calling him ahead of time, sweetheart, how is work today? I hope you are finding it easier at the workplace. Uh, when you get back home, what and what do you want us to eat? You may even be in your own office as you are conversing during the day, you will determine that. If you have a cook or a chef at home, then of course you pass the information to him or her. But if it is you that will prepare it, then you go home ahead of time and make sure that his desired meal for the evening or for the morning or for the new time is prepared. Very, very important. You must always agree on what to eat. You must always agree. It's very important. That is the fourth thing you must do. Then I will also give you the fifth thing you ought to do. The fifth thing is that you must watch your character because gratitude is very important in relationship. If a man feels that you are taking him for granted, if a man feels that you are not grateful for all the sacrifices he's making, if you find if you injure him emotionally. If he's not satisfied with you emotionally, he may find it difficult to sit with you and engage in a dinner table with you. He may find it difficult because all these things, I mean, quality relationship doesn't fall from the sky. It comes from, you know, partners that make up their minds to gel together and work as one. So watch your character. Watch the way you speak to him or with him. It must be respectable. It must be full of love and honor. 
if you don't do that if you are always throwing banters or saying uh, no costing making caustic remarks criticizing him it can even spoil his appetite it can make it i mean his appetite may just go that he may not even feel like taking anything anymore but if your words are garnished with love if there is laughter in your word if there is joy in your spirit i can tell you that your man will like to share the table with you every now and then very important i want you to watch your character i want you to watch what you bring to the dinner table is it joy or is it sadness do you go to dinner you know loving one another you know discussing quality you know making quality conversations having nice wine where there is one or do you, do you go to the dinner table with a lot of growls a lot of you know anger a lot of uh, bitterness a lot of emotions that are unworthy you must watch your character as a woman that will make a whole lot of difference in the heart of your man i believe god that if you can take some of the things we have said here and begin to apply it quality results will come you will see that gradually both of you will become happier to partake of one another even in the course of breakfast or dinner or lunch you'll be very eager to do that and also please be intimate do a whole lot of things to improve on your intimacy that's the last point i want to make a whole lot of things to improve on your intimacy you know take baths together pray together honor one another together talk together communicate quality communication once you do that every other thing becomes easier for you to i mean you know your relationship becomes more blissful and more successful i thank you for actually taking our time to listen to this very very short wonderful uh topic please if you are yet to subscribe to this channel click on this red button get subscribed and let's do this together next week i thank you very much for taking our time to watch this and i look forward to seeing you have a wonderful time god bless you